What's up guys, let's take a quick and easy look at how to use a plastic gauge. Here's the packaging. Here is the thread itself. That's what will be compressed. And what you want to do initially is to roughly measure your bearing and cut the plastic gauge into lengths that are just under the size of your bearing's width. Also pay attention to whether or not you want to use standard or metric clearances. On one side, there is a standard. And on the other side, there is a metric rating. There are a couple different sizes of range that this works within. This one happens to be between a 0 0.076 and 0 0.025 millimeter and a 0 0.001 and 0 0.003 inches. So on this current project, it's just doing a replacement of standard size bearings. Crank itself looks fine, so I should be able to go back with a standard bearing and eliminate any wear that was on the original bearing. To verify that before reassembly, we're going to use a plastic gauge to check the actual clearance. All you have to do is take off your bearing cap, drop your rod down, pull your old bearings out, and then insert your new bearings, insert a plastic gauge here, and then torque it down to the appropriate torque value, and in this case it's 24 foot-pounds. And then once you've torqued it, you'll be left with this mark on the journal. Once you have that mark made, you can compare that to your gauge. Just slightly larger than the second green bar, which means that we are going to be just under two thousandths of an inch, which is an acceptable clearance for this build. So that's how plastic gauges are a quick and convenient way to verify that your build is going along the way it should. Now there's no substitute for measuring your inside diameter and your outside diameter and doing a comparative analysis to come up with the actual clearance, but a plastic gauge is a quick and easy way to get pretty close and let you know if there's any signs of trouble or not. Hope you all like that. Subscribe and come back for more. We'll see you then.